Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. I am here playing some FTB Infinity Evolved on the Hypermind modded server. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. You can already see a little bit of the progress that has been done since the last time we were together. So, I've got a lot of progress to show you, and then we've got a little project to take care of. So, without further ado, let's get on with what has changed. So first things first, you can see that we've got a slightly different look to the castle wall. That's right, the automated skystone processing has been going really well. And so we've got a decent portion of this wall kind of changed out. So uh, you can see kind of the extent right here. It stops right there and then over on the other side it stops just past the gate so we're somewhere between a fourth of the way done and a third of the way done probably closer to a third and it's still going so that's just the castle wall we still haven't gotten to the castle keep or any of the buildings around and so uh, let's take a look also that uh, the AE system is not right here anymore. It has moved. Yes, I moved that because I want to put the eventual AE or ME system right here. Sorting and storage and crafting and ore processing all in this area. And the ME system was in the way right here in a rather poor configuration. So what I want to do, I had to move this out of the way so that I can get a better idea of how things are going to be going right here all right so uh, in doing that i've gotten a little bit better of a setup for these deep storage units and we've started putting some other things in here like andesite and diorite things that are taking up a lot of room here when you sort by the number of items so most everything up here is in a deep storage unit of some form we've got some things that aren't that aren't in the top yeah yeah I'm not sure I, I haven't quite done the counting but for things that we will be getting a lot of items for that are going to take close to this full uh, 16 384 or however many bytes so if it's gonna fill up one entire type on one of these drives I want to get it into a deep storage unit that way I don't clog my ME drives. So all of that notwithstanding, the ME system is now over here and we've got some room to play right there. We're not going to do that today. Instead, we're going to be moving a farm from here out beyond the walls and that is the cocoa bean farm. We've got some plans for that coming up. You can see some, well, I mean, this isn't really, it's not brown from the cocoa beans but I'm working on the color palette kind of getting there if you've got some suggestions I'm pretty set on the wood choice we're going to be using spruce wood and dark oak for the planks because that seems to go better than it's a little bit darker it kind of matches the this dark of the sky stone as well I'm not set on the color choice though that green clay this is kind of taking me back to when I was doing my own SMP server with some co-workers I use this color scheme a lot I don't know if I'm 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 not set on the green clay and so if you've got some ideas for some color blocks we should possibly work in let me know I'll play with that in my creative testing world and we'll see about using it here anything else of note uh, let's see I've moved a rocky queen over here I don't know why I've got one but I just wanted to play around with automation upgrades and done a little bit of work over here. We can just throw these rocky combs in and it's going to process through that centrifuge back there. You see that? So the Steve's factory manager works just fine with that. And uh, let's see, behind the ME system, there used to be the Quantum Queen that Benito gave me earlier for running the quarry. So what I've done is I've modified the Steve's factory manager a little bit I put the quantum queen back here and this is a carpenter's hatch and it's got the cobblestone texture on it ooh lag spike ooh whoa I'm not sure how OBS is going to handle that looks like our 
So you can see that the reactor just turned on, so it ran, ran out of power. If we go into the Steve's factory manager, every 10 seconds we're going to be pulling from yeah, the other apiary. So that's just going to be pulling whatever comes out of that and sending it into the uh, Tesseract. So th the Quantum Queen is producing nether quartz and surface quartz dust. So let's take a look there. Quartz. we got a lot of quartz now. This is great. And even some quartz ore. I just went into the nether earlier today. So I was trying out a new weapon that I built. I meant to bring you, well, I thought about it. I should have brought you along for the building of that weapon. So let me show you that right quick. But let me just show you this as well. Uh, I, I've got a lot of wither skeleton skulls. We got enough to do a stack of withers. So we'll be taking care of that here soon. I'm not sure how I'm going to present that or if I'm going to present that to you. But let me show you this weapon. It is a cleaver. And I've called it the Wither Skull Getter. I've also put Soulbound on it to make sure that if anything were to happen to me, it stays with me. So let's take a look. We've got, it, it's made out of steel. And then I've got all the beheading on it. So I filled that up, 100% chance to behead. So I'm going to get a skull from every Wither Skeleton I hit with this thing. And then, uh, let's see, I made the, I made most of the parts out of magical wood which is from Ender Utility, or Ender, no, Extra Utilities. And that gave me a lot of modifiers. Then I put all the extra Tinker's modifiers I could on there and then added a little bit of quartz. So, a little bit of sharpness. Uh, it's not the greatest in terms of the attack, but if you've got a little farm that happens to take Wither Skeletons down to minimal hearts, then it's not, not too bad. So, down here, let's go down the elevator blocks. Oh, oh, hello, buddy. How did you spawn? Hmm. That's problematic. Yeah, there we go. Where did he spawn at? You can't spawn... Can you spawn on tanks? You let me know. I don't, I don't know about that. It shouldn't be. Maybe it just... No, he couldn't have gotten up there. Huh. Well, I'm confused. But I've pulled out the blaze spawner. Uh, they were they were leading to too much. I mean, we've got plenty of blaze rods, plenty of XP hanging around. And over here, I've got the wither skeleton getter. And uh, I'm all out of mob essence for the time being. But what I did is I changed those diamond spikes out for wood spikes. And then just came in with the wither skull getter. And that worked just fine. So right now, the... Wither Skeleton spawner is not working, and then I don't have any power going into the Enderman spawner. So uh, that little piece in the basement is not working. And other than that, I think we've taken care of all the changes that have gone on since we were last together. So let's take a look at the project we're going to be doing. I'm joined on the server currently with Late Night Tick, and Dolan was on earlier. I guess he has gone back uh, and signed off. So let's just sleep the night away. Yep. And I missed it. Probably while I was talking to you, I missed it. So for, for you guys, again, let me know what you think of the color scheme. And yeah, so let's get on to today's project. I've got a couple of them lined up over here. We're not going to be doing this one today. We will be doing this one next week today we are going to be working on the cocoa farm so let's take a look here we've got jungle wood and cocoa beans probably more than we need for all of that oh there's one more thing i'll show you in just a moment i've got the ender pouch here let me show you how that works so we need to clear out a little bit of this grass let's see if i can get some items here that i can show you how this ender pouch works there we go that's some carrot seeds we just need to clear out some area here for this farm. All right, so we got plenty of those seeds. This ender pouch is tied to the ender chest that you've seen me put on a lot of items around here. It's the one that's sitting above my ME system. And so we can just send stuff right to the ME system from here. So it's kind of like carrying an ender chest around with you and not having to hit it with a pick every time you wanted to move it. Which is kind of cool. 
So let's get on with the project. Oh, there we go. You see that short grass right there? Bane of my existence. Yeah, let's just send that potato seed back. All right, so what we're going to do is get the jungle wood. We're going to set this out. Um, again, we got to keep in mind our chunk borders. The personal anchor is in that eucalyptus tree. We're right on a border right here. So as long as we stay in this chunk, we should be fine. So let's just set this up. And we're going to go what, one, two, three, and then one, two, and one, two. And then we'll put the cocoa right here. And there we go. We've got our cocoa bean farm. And uh, that's going to be it for now. So, so you know, let me know what you think. And uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to go tear down the other one. What? I'm, I'm hearing all your voices say, what are you talking about? That's, that's terrible. Soap, what are you thinking? Well, it is a cocoa bean farm, isn't it? I mean, you, you see that? You just some cocoa beans on jungle wood and bada bing, bada boom. It's not automated. No, no, you're right. It's not automated, but it should suffice. Who, how, how many cocoa beans does a person need? Okay. So you want me to do something a little bit better, maybe a, a little modded twist to it. Well, maybe I should find some material. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, look, another chest. Perhaps what we need is in there. Look at that. We've got a harvester. We got a planter, tesseract, ender tank, and some more jungle wood. Well, we've got plenty of jungle wood. So what do you think about that? Okay, I'm sorry for the cheesy attempt at acting. Yes, this is a rather simple farm, and even the modded twist on it is going to be simple. You've seen me set these up before, so let's just do that real quick. I'll get out my shovel of doom. I went and put um, put Soulbound on all of these tools just in case anything were to happen. And the way I'm getting a lot of Soulbound is that I've got a Bibliocraft um printer printing press and it copies books which is pretty cool so we'll put the planter right there and then we'll put the harvester every time every time i'm not a fan of how the mfr stuff works necessarily it just doesn't make sense to me hmm Anyway, so we've got the MFR harvester right there and the planter right here. Why do we have the jungle wood on the outside? Well, if we were to put jungle wood on the inside of this default radius, this 3x3 three three that the harvester is going to be pulling from, it would actually harvest the jungle wood. So what we want to do, and there's some configuration that you can turn that off on. I don't have it here. No, no, no. Let's not hit it with the wrench. Okay. Okay. I don't have that configuration option. It might be on the server, but on my test world, it was not available. It seems dark over here. Yeah, on my test world, I don't have it. Let's get rid of all those chunk borders. So I'm not doing any upgrades here. We're just going to leave it at the default 3x3. Three three. And then we'll put our other cocoa beans in there. And then like you've seen me do before, uh, we will just carry little bit of room around here and this is no different so I didn't show you any of the crafting you're, you're you should be fine with all the crafting recipes here so what we will do is ender tank uh, let's see ender pouch will go there we don't need the bow of justice anymore we'll do the ender tank up top and that's going to take care of the sludge that uh, let's see hopefully that's in the correct configuration. If it builds up, we'll know. But um, then what we do is a... Um, <laughs> we need to take the items out of there. Let's get in our project bag. We'll get a transfer node and then some of these pipes and leadstone flux duct. So we'll just do this here. And then the pipes will carry this down like so. And you're, you're familiar with that. And then what we do is take... Uh, 
Tesseract, we'll put that here. And we're going to do this on the Soap Power Plus channel. We will not do any um, anything for items or fluids. We'll just receive energy. And that should be good to go. And now that, yep, full of energy there. And ah, that's the issue. So what we'll do is take this out. And we'll do the flux duct here from the bottom. All right, that should be powered. Good, 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 good. And then what we will do is take the uh, the transfer node or transfer pipes here, like we've seen before so many times. And then we'll come around here. Do I have a an ender chest that I can just throw this into? Let's check the project bag. Uh, we do have an inter chest. Good, 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 good. So what we'll do is just throw that down and then put another pipe right here. So as long as this thing is filled up, or, or until that thing is filled up, we won't be getting any of these, uh, any of these uh, cocoa beans. And then let's take a look in the project chest as well. We'll do a little test and see if the harvester is working. Like so, that should go, and then the planter should go, and then we'll see where it went to. We had a stack and 16 in the planter. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so we got a stack and 30. So this is going to take a while for it to fill up the planter and us to start getting cocoa beans, but not a problem. We've got a few episodes before I really need to start using the cocoa beans, and you'll see that later on. So let's throw a torch down here just in case our magnum torch goes missing or something and then we will cover back up the area and there you go. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little modded twist on a tried and true farm for uh, well, what you would see in vanilla. So that's the maximum height it can go and we'll just throw another piece of dirt there. It doesn't ruin the planter from going, but uh, but there we go. So now we should be getting, or we are getting automated cocoa, and eventually it will show up in our EME system. So hopefully you have enjoyed this little modded twist on, on the farm, on the cocoa farm, and what we can do is go back over to... Did I have one of these already? I left that... Let me just make sure that I didn't accidentally... Okay. I guess I just had an extra one. That's cool. So we'll do that. And let's go to our to-do list and check off that one farm. So come over here. Flying is just so much easier. I do need to start using the paths. And I've said that before. Maybe I should actually start doing it. Let's go here. Farm to-do. Coco. There we go. Awesome. Well, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed this installment of Family Friendly Gaming with Soap the Great. Again, if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids, I'm not going to share it with you. If you did enjoy, a like is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.